Good, uh, 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 morning vloggy vlogsters. Welcome to another pandemic times. Was the still pandemic? It's just, just I was going to be there. Uh, weekly vlog. It's Monday. I'm wearing a new t-shirt that I snagged in the anthro sale. I'm very pleased with it. You're like, oh, that should have been £50 t-shirt quality. Um, <laughs> anthro, not technically sustainable, I don't think. Just not sustainable, but not ASOS not monkey so you know hey uh it's monday working from home um so tired <laughs> so tired after yesterday's walking exploits see last week's vlog we did a three and a half hour like just a really long really long walk around hawkston park follies which was amazing and felt like a proper adventure check the step count afterwards we did like thirteen thousand steps which is not a long walk for us like not at all we would do that quite happily on a day on holiday and stuff usually um but it was just really strenuous it was just up and down uneven steps and um like literally pulling yourself through a cleft <laughs> between two sandstone cliffs up a chain so it's hard work but anyway just really tired really tired but um i'm gonna do some work uh this week anything exciting i don't don't think Particularly, got Wesley. Wesley is starting school on Saturday as uh, so he's going back to school because he's missed out on pop school because of the pandemic. So that's happening. Um, we're dog sitting for the parents on Sunday. Oh God, it is, it is an exciting thing. Um, in a uh, ever increasing um, effort to sort out Wesley's uh, separation anxiety, which is like our main mission at the moment as we try and uh, have a controlled release back into something like pandemic era life i would say post pandemic era life but it's not is it we're just going to live in like the the pandemic era we're like before pandemic era and pandemic era um but yeah um as we attempt that controlled release we are doing lots of work using all the training to uh try and sort out wesley's separation anxiety and um he's going to go and stay overnight at my parents on his own like he stayed overnight there with us but he hasn't stayed overnight on his own with them since since we went on that London theatre trip before the pandemic, which was like the January of 2020. Um, so Dan and I have a, a dog free night to ourselves on Saturday nights. So I think we're going to go and get some tacos. Basically, just going to go to a dog, a non-dog friendly restaurant, which can be very exciting. Just going to a restaurant is quite exciting these days. That feels quite new. So those are the plans. But who knows? Um, oh, general pandemic updates for kind of future life Um Looking back on this, um, today is the day where if you are double vaxxed, you no longer have to isolate as a contact. If you get the call from Test and Trace saying you've been in contact with someone with coronavirus, no longer automatically have to isolate for 10 days, you can take some tests instead. So there you go, that's, that's the next little change. Right, that's Monday. <laughs> I have discovered I've built the chest of drawers upside down and it's now very late and I'm not dealing with that tonight. Take that apart and put it back together again tomorrow. Flat pack fun times. Just feels like a, a soft clothes day today. Howdy Friday people, uh, I'm out of the house. I'm gonna go meet Laura for brunch at Wayland's Yard. It has been an age, an age. Yeah, I haven't seen Laura or been to Wayland's Yard since pre-panorama times. So yeah, exciting stuff. Um, yesterday, I felt like tired and I'm finding it hard to string sense together. Yesterday was a very stressful work day. Um, one of those like good stressful ones though where like I feel like I rose to meet the challenges but it was very challenging. I'm 
so nice to see Laura have a good catch up. Can't believe it's been like nearly two years. It may even been two years. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, it's been really good to kind of, in a controlled fashion, emerge from hibernation and start to see people again. I've got another little friend date booked in next week with Raj and Elizabeth, but you also haven't seen since way before the pandemic. Also, um, that will also mark our first use of public transport in this pandemic era. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous about, but we just need to do it now. Um, so yeah, all good. Raven's Yard, oh, eggy crumpets. Eggy crumpets just as good as I remember. Walk past my hairdressers, which makes me think I should probably go and get this sorted at some point in the near future too. We've done pub school. We've dropped Wesley off at my parents. Are we going out? It's mom and dad's night out. sitting for my parents today. Everyone seems chill. <laughs> Obviously doing a good job. <laughs> Having a nice day. <laughs> oh my gosh, yesterday evening was so nice. It was so nice. I think it felt like being on holiday, like in our own neighborhood. Very strange. Um, but yeah, Tierra Tacos was amazing. And just to make sure it really was amazing, we basically ordered everything off the menu. Um, home by half 10. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just the first time we've been out in the jewelry quarter um, since like March 2020. It was very, very, yeah, I've said it's nice a lot of times. Um, anyway, uh, we are now back. Wesley did really well on his experimental night away from us, slept soundly through the night apparently. Um, and yeah, we're at my parents' house today. Um, Come in some pizza. Might give the dog a bath because they have a cool dog bath thing in the utility uh that's probably about it may play a board game whilst we wait for them so yeah that's it chill day at my parents house and uh, that'll be the week it's been a pretty good one <laughs> Thank you. 